in this video i'm going to be showing us how we can get our original national id card yes the original one now we know that this national id card can be used for many functions many things and anywhere that needs an authentication or validation you can make use of this national id card if you are an advertiser like me as you run ads on different platforms then you also need this national id card if you usually run facebook ads and possibly or probably your ad account was restric restricted this is what you will need to unblock it so in other words anywhere your voters card cannot carry you to this national id card will carry you to the place so now having talked about that let's go straight to the point so go to your play store open your play store and as you can see open your play store type n-i-m-c n-i-m-c so search you can see that so this is what it's looking like now this is what you'll be clicking on if you have not installed this in your phone before what you see here is install but if you have installed this in your phone before what you see is open i hope you understand so you're seeing open here because i have installed it before in my phone you can see it it's open because i've installed it in my phone but if it is the first time what you see there is install and after you install it will also change to open so let's go ahead and click on open click on open so this is um what it's looking like personal identity mobile service hold on while it loads so after you must have um, installed the app and opened it this is what you'll be seeing now i'll just keep all this you can go through it on your own if you have the time so just go straight click on this get started i don't want to waste time in this video by this time you must have copied your nin number and if you have not go and copy it and then impute it here if you don't know your nin um you can make use of star 346 ash it will show you your nin number so i'll go ahead and impute the nin that i have copied I'll impute the NIN that I've copied and use next. Click on the next icon. So agree to the terms. Agree to the terms. And allow it to load. You can see. So I still use this number. I want to use another number. This is verifying whether you're still making use of the mobile number you use while registering your NIN. So if you are still making use of it, kindly make use of click on this click on this option. But if you're no longer making use of the number, um click on this. I want to use another number. So I'm going to go ahead and use this because I'm still using mine. Okay. So they are going to send an OTP to this phone number I used copy the otp and impute right here so it after imputing wait for this to load wait for this to load it's verifying your information and yes you can see this congratulations so click on this proceed to pin put in any six digits pin that you can remember any number you can remember so i'm going to be imputing my pin okay that's going to be the password so here we are welcome back so i'm expected to log in now with that same pin so just impute the same pin and log in so here is the dashboard here is what it's looking like so i'll just go straight to the point remember what we want to get now is the plastic id right so click on this print and i sleep print nin sleep so allow it to load
I'll, I'll eat to load. So while it's loading, while it's loading, just kindly wait for it. Okay, so here we are. Don't touch any of these numbers here. The user ID, the mobile OTP, do not touch anything. Just go straight ahead and log in. Log in. Okay, so this is what we are looking for now. Welcome to NIMC. You can see that. So we have the premium sleep and um, other things here. Now we are looking for this premium sleep. Print premium sleep. That's what you are clicking. So click on it. As you can see, the premium sleep, you get it with 1,000 Naira. You're not paying to me. <laughs> Let me point it out. You're not paying to me. This is government property. So you're paying to government. And it is actually more cheaper here compared to any other place. So most people, if anybody is to run this thing for you, if anybody is to get your ID for you, they can charge you 4000 5000 and above, depending on your location. But well, here you are, you can do this by yourself and do it at an affordable price. So now I have made payments already, so I don't need to make another payment. But for someone that has not made payments, so let me just show you. Pay with remitter. Pay with remitter. Do not leave the page. Just hold on while it loads. Okay. So you, you hold on, hold on. It's going to bring out a page for you. You are going to impute your card details. So as you can see, just put in your card details, the expiry date, the CVV. We know where you can find the CVV at the back of your card, at the back of your ATM. So now... It's going to charge you the total of 1002 This is what they will take from you at the end of it. So I'm not going to make payment because I already have now. But if you're new to this, you're going to click on this pay. Click on this pay, right? And then it will proceed to take you to where you're going to download the paid um, version of it, the PDF form. So once you get the PDF form, you go right ahead to print it. So now let me take it again. Once you've made the payment, come back to this place to bring you back to this um, check status. You can see that I have already paid check status. So there is a remitter number that you see. Remitter is the RRL number you see on that page it took you to. So just impute it here and validate payment. I hope you understand. Impute it here and click on this validate payment. Okay. So that will be that. And it will bring it out in form of a PDF form for you. Save the PDF. And if you want to print it, go to any cyber cafe. Ask them to print it for you. And they are going to print it in form of um, a voter's card. You know how your voter's card looks like? The plastic Tell them that you want your national ID to be in that way. That's the way your ATM card appears. So they will print it out with just a small amount of money. And there you go with your national ID. I hope this helps you and I hope um, you get much value from this. See you next time.